Hello and welcome back to Elder King. So, we have got rid of pretty much all of the Revolt Wars. We're in a good spot from that perspective. Our threat level's a little high, but that's alright. We can wait a little bit for it to go down, or if there's a Revolt, we can jump on it. We have pretty much all of Skyrim. If we can take the Rift, that pretty much means we never have to attack Skyrim again. Also, I think that gets rid of the rest of our religion pretty much. Yeah. I pretty much do it. There is Wayrest, which is our religion, but that's in a different area. So I think if we could get rid of the Rift, that pretty... Yeah, that would, that would do it. That would do it. So, uh, let's have a look. Do we have any claimants that we can grab? We could try and claim, but of course, uh, I think our religion leader is still not in our land. Yeah, he's still not underneath us. Can we declare a war on him? No. we. C He's not in our land and we can't clear- I guess he doesn't hold any land currently, does he? Well, he holds the Temple of the Eight Divines, which is underneath here, is it? No. He- he- okay. He- he just doesn't hold anything. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Yeah. Let- If we granted him land, he would then be in our land. He would be our vassal and more inclined to... Perhaps, you know, give us some of these things, but I don't really care that much. Anyway. Uh, I just want to see what we have. We don't have anything for the whole amount of land. We have some for little bits of land, but not all of it. Let's see, do they have any claimants? They have one claimant only. Wow. Is that it for the family, or is that the only claimant who can move? You're not a claimant. Okay. Interesting. If I kill him, his child takes over. This child... I guess doesn't he just doesn't count or something? Yeah, he's just not able to get it. What was the succession law? Selective. Ah, oh, okay, that's a problem. If he dies, then his children will get claims, so we could invite them to our court. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think this guy needs to go. So, um, assassinate. Definitely Dark Brotherhood. We'll see how it goes. We resembled the effigy, collected the needed body parts, nightshade, and now stand over the ritual with a dagger in hand. Okay. 2,000 gold? Alright. We've done it. We've killed Osbert the Fist. However, in the process, the agent was captured and revealed my identity. Oh no. So this guy really hates us because we're a rival of him. That's fine. You have a claim, and you hate us. Well, we'll see who's willing to join us now that we've killed the leader of the ring. Um, yeah. Let's see if anybody's willing to join us now. Uh, no. They, in fact, they really hate us because we're rivals because we murdered the close kin. So, anyway, that's fine. You know, whatever. Don't need to worry about it. It was, a, it was an attempt, and the attempt went nowhere. And that's fine. We don't need to worry about it anymore. Let's just sit back, relax, let our threat level go down. Yeah. Um, maybe let some of our vassals expand a little bit, which I think they are actually expanding. I'm not sure where, but I'm sure our vassals are expanding all over the place. I mean, we got some in Dragon Tail actually previously, and we have taken quite a lot of Dragon Tail. Which is nice. Uh, definitely we'll get more supply limit in that province. No reason not to. Okay, Crimson Plague is broken out. We're not really worried about plague anymore either. We're just kind of, uh... There's not a lot that can really challenge us. Uh, apart from internal stuff, but, you know, externally we're pretty good. Yeah. Are we, uh... Are we zealous? We are not zealous. Okay. So, we're kind of in an odd situation, but not zealous. That We are known murderer and people are plotting to kidnap us, which is unfortunate. Do want mountain expert on all of our people? could. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to do that. We lost our steward, which means that there is a new person in charge of Nibane. He's not very good at anything. He would be an alright diplomatic person, or diplomacy person. Um, our advisor is just bad. Spy master. Okay, who's in charge of... Our magister there is 21. We could put our... Okay. Oh, what about our other advisor? He's still pretty bad. Okay. A chancellor, pretty bad. We could 
put our... We put this new guy as our magister, and then we could... Yeah, I think that works. And then we can make our steward whoever we want. I think that's the only really, like, easy way to do this. So yeah, King of Nibane is going to be our magister. He's going to be worse at it, but he is going to be our magister. Uh, there we go. We're getting research and cultural tech. And our steward is going to be... Could be Aldi. But, um, that's a revolt. Crowhaven. That's some land. That's actually land. And it's someone who can put it. That's fine. Need a new designated regent. Who is going to be the Queen of Kavach. That seems fine. Good. No worries. Um, East March usurped the Kingdom of East March from Lucano the Lud. Well, that's just annoying. Really. I mean, it's fine in a way, but um, let's put him on our council. He'll be our, our, our advisor. That's fine. He should now like us, which he does. We'll send him a gift. Okay. Um, right, what do you want me to do? Sign a non-aggression pact with Kuptor. Okay, who are Kuptor? No. Definitely not, I think is the answer there. That we could easily just take that. We could just do a conquest. Be the easiest conquest we've ever done. Yeah, let's just head over there and do it. No problems. Don't even worry about it. Lots of little wars being declared. It'd be nice if there was like a mechanic in the game where you could just see like, I would like my vassals to war, so I'm just going to encourage them. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to subsidize their wars or something. But there isn't, so that's fine. It's kind of what I'm feeling I'd want to do right now is basically just get my vassals declaring wars on other people. Because then we can get expansions happening, but it's not happening like that. Uh, our previous heir died. We now have Chief Silas as our heir. He is a spell sword and a mage. Neat. He does have a nice staff. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're on to the uh, mostly male heirs, actually. No? We took the Duchy of Anvil. Okay, so that's Kavach expanding into everything. Not worrying at all. Not, not one bit. You know? The fact that we have a king, uh, well, we have a queen who's quite so close to us in terms of land. Um, that's fine. Right, let's keep going. You've taken the barony from someone. Oh, but you're not underneath us. But we could get that land. That's a nice easy bit of land to grab. Yeah, these are the nice bits that I'm looking to just kind of take in a single war. We've done harm. Well, that's fine. I give you a job which you can't actually do any real harm in. So, it's fine. It's uh, 1,600 they have there. It's not ideal. We need a new marshal. New marshal is going to be... Well, you're part of a revolt. So I guess it's going to be this duchess, a brittle ship. It's going to go train troops in our capital. We need a new commander. Uh, new commander is going to be this guy. Okay, continue going. I think we can win this if we declare the war and just go on to it. It's possible. We've taken the Duchy of Blade Mist. I don't really care. I think I'm going to declare the war. I'm just going to take the land. Nobody can fight. Like, nobody can get 9,000 troops here before we can siege it. That's my logic right now. Uh, army levies. Get them. Do not assault under any circumstances. Ass oh, wait. We can assault now. That's fine. Because actually they raised up half their army. So, yeah. Easy. We did it. That was a nice, easy bit of land, really. Yeah, nice. Um, there's not really much more to that one. It was just we got land. We could attack these ones. We could easily assault that completely down. Yeah, it's under cliff here. We get some good wars going. Yeah, we could do some. We could do a de jure war over that bit of land. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Need a new spy master. Previous one was uh, killed, <laughs> was actually assassinated, which is worrying. Uh, I'm just seeing, do we have, we, yeah, we do have a powerful vassal who isn't on our council, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's just put the best one in, because she has landed. Okay. You can go scheme in our capital. There we go. Right, head up here, wait for our army, like one more tick, I'd say. Maybe two. Let's see how it goes. 
consumption broke out in solitude. Oh, that's to the north. For a second there, I thought it was us. For we're Skingrad. Yes, I want to do the, the wars over here. Our threat level is going down, but not completely. That's fine. Right, uh, assault this down. Ooh, that wasn't great. I didn't, that, didn't, that didn't go quite as well as I hoped it would go. We can head into Sundercliff and then back along. That seems like a really good path for this war. Yeah, okay. We lost our advisor. We have a new Queen of Kvatch who is not good at anything. Well, you know what? Point Counselor Advisor. There we go. Head down here. Um, do you want to be friends with this guy? Sure, let's see. He does want a non-aggression pact. Okay. We'll take that alliance. It's alright. Uh, we can assault this down. Easy enough. That's 100%. No, it's not. It's only 92%. Need to assault this one as well. Okay. Um, we're going to go show these bandits what's what. We've selected 12 of our bravest, most capable men for our personal levies. We are going to fight the bandit. And we kill them without even being wounded. Nice. 100% uh, war score, offer peace, enforce demands. Nice. So that's now under this vassal who now likes me better. Perfect. Nice little bits of expansion wherever we can get them. Gideon, uh, we can't really do the same there because it's uh, split up. I thought if it was just that one province, we're great for it, but we can't do that. Okay, so what we want to do is we actually want to head all the way up there now for the next war. Um, press the call to arms. Actually, no, this was a one-way alliance. I'm sorry. We're not interested. Yeah. It's like, hey, you want an alliance? Oh, yeah, sure, definitely. That'll be great for us. I don't feel like actually, you know, participating. We have a queen of Daggerfall who isn't a powerful vassal, I guess? Weird. You don't know she would be. Um, queen of Daggerfall isn't even somebody who we can put in as, like, our, in our top group. Why do you not like me, King of Eastmarch? Do you want land or something? Alliance Breaker. Oh, I forgot that people would be unhappy about that. It said zero prestige, and I'm like, oh yeah, no consequence. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, well, we're still okay. These are dark days my wife was beset by high fever. Oh well. Whatever. She does have the plague, which is fairly bad, I would say. All that dropped down. Yep, we just lost our wife. Uh, we need more stewardship. Yeah, let's marry... Um, what's this one? Medgard. Alright, yeah. Uh, let's marry Amy. There we go. That seems reasonable. That works. Gives us some stewardship, so we have enough to hold all the land that we want. And we need a new commander, so we're just going to go put in... Alexa. Okay. Right. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we can stop people being in factions, but our factions aren't strong anymore, so that's fine. We've held land long enough that people aren't actually instantly wanting to break away from us, which is good. Uh, we're still working on that legalism level 3. It's, it's, we're a little bit away, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, some things are just going to take some time. Oh well. Right, to continue on our way. Um, Skingrad prospers. Um, no, I don't want it to be Breton. I don't care. Title revocation has been voted for somewhere, but again, doesn't really affect us directly, so I'm not that into it. There are more bits of land being taken all over, like within our realm, but I'm not too interested in it overall. Okay, there's a revolt in Dragon Tail. That might actually be our um, quick call to go up there instead. Uh, since I arrived in Skingrad, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops. Okay, fair enough. Uh, hopefully that revolt doesn't win. Because if it wins, then we're in a bad position because we can't declare war on it. Uh, a safe peasant... Okay, our marshal says that people are having trouble with highwaymen. Yeah, a safe pre um, peasant is a productive peasant, so we're going to get rid of the revolt risk, which is nice. Less revolts over there, hopefully. Unlike Banner Mist, which just has a ton of revolts non-stop. Although I haven't seen any in like, ooh, I don't know, 10 minutes, so. Yeah, it still has it. Not really a lot we can do about that, is there? 
There's no like just restart that province, start again without the negative uh, modifiers on it. Okay. Maybe it's just a thing that Banner Mist permanently has, or maybe it's something that can permanently exist somewhere. Maybe you have to con actually control the land to be able to do anything about it. Need a new advisor. Okay, so East March has a new king who is not powerful, who is not old enough to do anything, I should say. Uh, advisor, we're going to put in the Duchess of Coral, who is apparently more powerful than the Queen of Daggerfall. Interesting. Um, right, head up here. Do our quick war declaration. We would like... Um, they're going to say no. They're not, their enemy is too weak. Uh, by favor? Yeah, okay. Perfect. I'm going to call in your council support. I would like to declare a war for... Dragonwall. Perfect. We have enough people. End up here. We'll definitely call in our allies. No reason not to. Right. Oh, damn it. Not quick enough. The revolt ended. Okay. Well, at least we're already on our way somewhere else. It wasn't like we went all the way up there for that war. Okay. In here, um, do you want a non-aggression patch with this guy? I have no idea who he is, so no. Probably. Oh, he's, he's in the land that we're about to go and attack. Definitely, I made the right decision there. That is a bold move to just be like, Hey, um, you know, we, you're about to attack us, but why don't we just ally instead? Can I not declare this war? Must have a valid... Oh, we're not bordering him, so we don't have a valid cast his belly. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Right, can we attack... Oh no, Volnum are all the way down there. Volnum have split free from Eleanor, haven't they? We don't have a claim on this guy as well. I think we did, but we can't really press it with our current situation. So, what we're we looking at? Um, designated regent is the next one we need to do. Uh, put in the Queen of Kavach, who doesn't like me for some reason. She wants to control the Barony of uh, Norlhost. Do I have the Barony of Norlhost? No. Probably a vassal, right? Yeah, sure. Have her. Doesn't bother me one bit. Um, head down here to Haircross. Probably the, the best target we have for a war. Like, I mean, it's only got 800 defenders if they raise up their men, so... It's a good war for us if we could do it. It's an easy war if we could do it as well. And it would just get rid of them just sitting there in our land. Just kinda... There. Oh, we have enough tech points in military to get the next level of military organization. More retinues. Fantastic. And less supply limit problems. Almost actually as good. Look at that number of retinue. That's another 4,000 troops in our retinue. That's a whole army by itself. That's why I'm so... I, these battle mages are cool, but like, you can get s the value from the light infantry is so high. It's enough that we can probably siege down this land up here. Also, the extra supply limit is kind of the hidden great thing about military organization. As so we go from 25% to 37.5%, so a normal province has 14,000 supply limit. Like, we can walk around with 14,000 troops and not take any attrition. Which is just really, really good, because not many of the people that we're fighting have that, so. Like, they can only, like, they'll be walking around taking attrition, or, you know, they'll be walking around and they'll, uh, like, in smaller groups. So, it's fine. I think we're good. I wanted to declare this war. You don't want vassalization, do you? No. Oh, well. Declare the war. We could have done the Jura War. That might be better. Anyway. Here we go. We have more than 10 times the troops this time. That's the assault I was looking for the first time we tried this war so long ago. Right, offer peace and force demands. We've taken this new land. We'll give away the lower holding. Uh, and we should probably give away one of the other ones as well. Um, yeah, probably. Let's just find a character we can give it to. So we're looking for somebody who's in our realm. Man, not imprisoned, not married, not a ruler. 
my religion and my culture is an adult. Let's give it to Brandon. Brandon, you're going to have a uh, hair's cross. There we go. Right. That works for me. Hair's cross is de jure part of Duchy of Stonemore. So I will uh, transfer this vassal over because she's probably wanting it. That's fine. She's now probably happier with us. No, she still doesn't like us a lot, really. Okay, that's fine. That's some nice bit of new land. That's just absolutely perfect. And I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.